Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the LiveNet TV app to your Fire Stick in 2025. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. And firstly, you gotta get the app called Downloader to the Fire Stick. If you already have Downloader on your device and it is properly set up, then you could actually skip the step. But if you don't have Downloader yet or you are unsure if it is set up correctly, then of course you gotta follow me. So firstly, we have to go to the search on the Fire Stick, open the search bar and start typing Downloader in here. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom now. So click on it and here's this app, which you gotta get to your device. But after you got Downloader, it's not over yet, because now we still need to set it up. So to set up Downloader, we go to settings by clicking this button with a gear icon then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. You open it, and in here, what you gotta do is turn on the developer options. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So, if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry, because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, Select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote. And do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's gonna say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps and in here all we have to do is locate downloader and turn the option on. So what it does, it's gonna allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we'll do right now. So now Let's go back to a list of apps near your device, open it, and here's the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing, and it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is a great pricing for us, the users. All we have to do in a VPN app is select any location, let's say I will connect to Romania, and from, from the moment you connect, all your traffic will be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, then I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video or in the description of this video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is gonna give you the same amazing deal for an RDPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also gonna give you the same deal for an award. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. And now we go back to a list of apps on your Fire Stick. Head straight for Downloader. And yeah, let's open it up. And there, in the search, what you have to do is enter a code in order to download the LiveNet TV app to your Fire Stick. The code is gonna be 50452. So once again, 504524, that is the code you have to enter. Then just click on go, and while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. 
so you would get even more content about Firestix. Now this web page has opened, you have to scroll it down and then click on download for Amazon Firestick. And now the load of the app has started. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then click install and just wait a bit until the installation is finished. And then don't click on open yet, instead press done as this way you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on a fire stick. So just click on delete and then delete. This way you will be able to save yourself some free space on your device. Then go back to a list of apps on a fire TV stick, open it, and here at the bottom you will finally see the LiveNet TV app. So now, first of all, I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines, right next to the home button on your remote. Just click on it and press on move to front. This way, the app will always be at the very top of your application list. And therefore, it's gonna be way easier for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use the link below this video to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. So enjoy it all and see you next time. Bye bye.